and just be friendly and just be nice. And you'd be surprised how many friends you'll meet, how many people may want to talk to you, and you might you know, learn some great information along the way. You know, don't be shy, go talk to people. You know, if I'm traveling by myself and I happen to see another foreigner somewhere else, I might go up there and actually talk to them. Hi, how you doing? Where are you from? Where are you traveling? Where have you been? You know, you'd be surprised the great information you can find by being able to just meet other people who are also along the road. Hi, this is Anita from the Dusty Roads podcast, where we talk about all things about living your life as a global citizen. So we hope that if you want to live your life as a global citizen, that you will join with us. Today, I want to talk a little bit about traveling alone. And this is really something that's quite near and dear to me or near and dear to my heart. When I was in college, I actually ended up, but it was kind of a bit by accident, but I ended up traveling five months through China by myself. And I admit, first I was really nervous. You know, what happened is I traveled with some friends and my uncle and aunt were living in Beijing. So I went up to see them first. And then for some reason, you know, my friends and I ended up not meeting up with each other. And I ended up traveling on my own through uh, most of summer. And I have to say, I had a great time. It ended up being one of the best experiences of my life. So this is something that's kind of near and dear to me and near and dear to my heart is about traveling alone. You know, when my friends didn't show up and I knew I was probably going to be traveling alone, and this was before the time when there was a lot of internet and you could call somebody and find out, hey, where are you? Or even, you know, before people had a lot of email, that's how old I am, if anybody wants to know. And so that that was really before this time and China just didn't have those things set up. So really, if you were lost, you were kind of lost. And I remember thinking like, what am I going to do? You know, am I just going to wait here, wait for them or am I go travel? And and it, I was first, it was kind of a bit scary. I thought, oh, you know, travel my own is going to be scary. But it ended up being a great experience because along the way, I met so many great friends. I met so many great people. I learned that the world is really a great and wonderful place that's filled with a lot of amazing people. You know, traveling alone, you know, um, doesn't need to be something that you won't do just because you're going to have to do it. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are single in the world, or maybe you have a partner who doesn't want to travel. So maybe, you know, you, you decide you're going to go out and you're going to go at it alone. So here's a couple suggestions I have. Number one is do your homework. You know, read up on where you're going. You know, read blogs from people who've lived there, or people who've gone there, or people who've done it. Uh, watch YouTube videos. There's lots of great videos out there. People are talking about their experiences. Obviously, listen to podcasts like this podcast here. We talk about things to do with the world. Um, check out documentary programs. You know, just basically learn about where you're going. It will just make your life so much easier and it will save you time and you'll kind of have an idea where you want to stay, what you want to do, and you'll really, really know why you're going to be there. You know, understand your um, legal requirements. This, of course, is also important. Things like, you know, know where the embassy is in case there's going to be a problem. Have an emergency number. Make sure you have proper medical insurance in case there's going to be a problem that you'll be able to be able to get, to, you know, the medical help that you need. Uh, make sure you have the visas. You know, you can read blogs about people who are doing this. Check out the airlines. These are all things that you can do. You know, plan your first few days, you know, you know how are you going to get to the airport? You know, what hotel are you going to stay in? Especially if you're going to be new into a city, maybe you want to book the hotel ahead of time, or maybe you want to only book one night ahead of time, and then figure it out as you go along. You know, know and where how you can get local cash. This, you know, of course, can be always be a problem in some areas. You know, will you be able to get it out of an ATM, or do you need to go to a bank? Will you need to bring traveler's checks? Should you bring U.S. dollars cash with you? Those are all things that you should figure out if you're going to go at it alone. And then also have safety measures in place, like where you're going to keep your cash. Um, you know, now there's there's you know things that you can buy, you can put around your waist, you can tuck into your shirt. Because when you're traveling alone, one of the most things that you need to worry about the most is not to be robbed, not have your passport be robbed or your money be robbed or other things. So always sort of have a backup plan. I have learned as I've traveled is one of the things you do not ever do is flash the cash. Like I will always keep 
you know, the cash that I'm going to pay people in one part. And then if I have some larger bills, I'll keep it hidden so people cannot see it. So, you know, especially if you're traveling to a third world country, learn not to flash the cash, but instead to be able to, you know, keep the smaller change somewhere and then keep if you have some bigger change somewhere else. Because really, if you start flashing the cash around, you could set yourself up to be robbed. A couple of other things you can do is, you know, you know, learn to be enjoy to be by yourself. I think one of the hardest things that a lot of people do is they say like, oh, you know, will I be bored or, you know, et cetera. You know, number one thing that I learned when I traveled by myself was that I could enjoy being by myself. I could go out to dinner by myself and it was fine. I could go to a movie by myself. It was fine. I could get on a train by myself. It was fine. You know, that you really learn that you can do stuff by yourself because, you know, there might be times in your life, even if you're married and you have a partner, that, you know, you there may be times when you're going to have to do things by yourself. So learn to be able to do things by yourself and on your own. Yeah, you know, the other thing is smile at people. I found that smiling at people, even if you can't speak the same language, can help to break the ice. You know, smile at the children, smile at people that you see across from you. And just be friendly and just be nice. And you'd be surprised how many friends you'll meet, how many people may want to talk to you. And you might, you know, learn some great information along the way. You know, don't be shy. Go talk to people. You know, if I'm traveling by myself and I happen to see another foreigner somewhere else, I might go up there and actually talk to them. Hi, how you doing? Where are you from? Where are you traveling? Where have you been? You know, you'd be surprised the great information you can find by being able to just meet other people who are also along the road. And you will really be able to, you know, learn, oh, they might say to you, oh, don't stay in that hotel, go stay in this hotel. Or, oh, if you go to this town, go look up so-and-so. They were friends of ours and they were so great. And you'll get lots of great information and lots of great advice. I have found that most people I've met traveling are really quite friendly. I haven't really met that many people that were rude or mean or, or other things. So don't be afraid to talk to other people. You know, ask people about themselves, you know, learn about them. Want to, you know, discover about them and who they are and what they're about. And then that will open up a whole new world to you. You know, don't be afraid to try a new language. I think a lot of times, you know, people are kind of like, oh, but they go to a country, learn at least some of the basics, learn to at least say hello, you know, say goodbye, learn to say thank you. And you'd be surprised how that opens up. One of the things I've always loved so much about Asia, even like when I go out into the countryside here, you'll see the young kids shout at you, hello, 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 and I always shout back, hello, hello, hello. You know, it really is great that at least, you know, they know that they know hello. They may not be able to, you know, speak any more English, but at least they've learned how to say hello. You know, so you can also learn to be able to, you know, speak a few words. Or ask people, how do you say hello in your language? And then kind of write it down. How do you say thank you? And then try to practice a bit. And yeah, they might laugh at you. They might think, oh, you don't speak it right. But most people appreciate the fact that you're trying to learn something about them and their culture and their language. You know, be positive. There are many good people out there. If there's one thing I've learned about being around the world is that there are a lot of good people all over the world. And people that are willing to be so kind and so generous and so nice to you that you just cannot even imagine. The world is actually full of really, really nice people. You know, that is one of the great things that you learn when you go out and you travel on your own. You know, when you go travel with somebody else, it's great too because you always have somebody to do something with and it's great. But sometimes you know, when people travel together, they just sort of stick together. They don't really have to get outside their shell. They talk to each other. They don't really, really go out and talk to other people. But when you are traveling by yourself, it can sometimes force you to go out and talk to other people. And then you really learn that this world is filled with many kind and wonderful people. I love this quote that says, one of the greatest things about travel is that you will find out how many good, kind people there are. And that is really true.
one of the greatest things about travel, and especially when you travel by yourself, is that you will learn that there's many kind and great people out there. This is Anita from the Dusty Roads Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. We hope that you will that you've enjoyed this podcast, that you will follow us. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for our production crew, especially Rico for all you do. And we hope that you will all go out and live your life as a global citizen, that you will want to learn about the world, become part of the world, and go out and experience the world. 